it's seriously fucked up. Luigi's Mansion, baby. Oh, wait, yeah, we get to go to World 2 now. Or Area 2, not World 2. There's four areas in this game. And we already did one. But here we go. Let's put our key in the hole. Because if this game wasn't sexual enough, I had to make it more sexual. Grab the knob and turn it lightly. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay, now we're in, like, hell. Um, there's dead bats everywhere. Guys from the ceiling are dropping bombs. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the ghost of the Unabomber, if I had to say so. The ghost of the- is he dead? Yes! Yes, he- when was he, when did he die? A long time ago. I thought he died in prison, right? When did the Unabomber die? Am I wrong? He died on June 10th, 2023. I thought I, I yeah. He just died. Oh, it's the Raper Ghost. I just got, I almost got raped a little bit. You almost got raped. I almost did. He grabbed me for a second, but then I said no means no and shook him off. Is that Bill Cosby's ghost? Honestly, that is the most horrifying looking ghost, so I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> like, as soon as they spawn, they say, Zip, zop, zoobity, bop. <laughs> Little Bill. I'm so glad I didn't grow up with that show. <laughs> I know, a Little Bill. That that would have been. That would be like uh, finding out Dream's a pedophile, which he is. I think. Right? It was proven that he was a pedophile. Who? Dream. Dream? He's a pedophile? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? I didn't see that. Yep, yeah, Dream's a pedophile. Well, they said the same thing about Call Me Carson, but he's still kicking. Well, I mean, it wasn't- it was more of, like, how he did it, not the age. Oh. It was only, like, a year difference. Year or two. Mario. It was, like, he was very weird about it. Which really killed him. That's why he wasn't arrested. But no, this was, um... These were a lot younger. Twelve. Jesus! No. It wasn't any- he would just do weird moaning noises, I think. That's Ew! What he like, he would record his moan and, like, send it to him. Oh, that's gross. Fucking weird. That is weird, man. I never get how. Why how do you get is off it to majority that? Majority Minecraft YouTubers, and how the hell do you get off to that? Like, yeah. I don't get it. This is so gross and unputting, off-putting. Yeah. Unputting. So, pretty much, Dream's career is pretty much dead. Unless this is one big ass psyop. <laughs> yeah. I can already see the title of this video. Dream talk? <laughs> Dream's a pedophile. No, just like, Luigi's Mansion Part 3. Dream's a pedophile. Man, the dream situation's crazy. <laughs> just do what Moist Critical would do. Oh, yeah. Dude, the dream situation's crazy. <laughs> and he's just yeah, playing Sonic Adventure. It's just how Charlie thinks of metaphors is like art pretty much i thought his name was like penguins like, now or something yeah penguin zero yeah most critical Char charles white you know he goes by many names <laughs> scott coffin i don't remember what video it was but matt platt actually played scott coffin in like Reed? yeah it was like some musical for five nights at freddy's and markiplier and shit and he, and he like was like the twist villain at the end. He was like, I go by many names. Matt, Pat, Phone Guy, Scott Cawthon. I don't remember that. Oh. Also, I'm about to suck up this lovely like Romeo and Juliet couple. Like, am I the only one who misses the old Game Theory intro? Oh yeah. Hello, internet. Welcome to Game Theory. And like, just I, I just miss it. Yeah, because like, he always had to have a boob. One. He always had to have boobs in his um intros. Really? Boob they theory. Instead of style theory, give us boob theory, Matt Pat. Come on, we want the boob theory. We want the boob. Theory. Yeah, we want the boob theory. And I can say that because I'm a homosexual. It's okay. I can talk about boobs if I want. And I, it's like a free pass. Much, yeah. 
I was being sarcastic. I should probably shouldn't, because that just sounds like a uh, pedophile thing to say. More. Everything works on a Oh man, there was a Brandon Rogers episode where he played like oh an exaggerated God. gay man, and he was like, he he goes up to the copier and he says, "Move, I'm gay." Move, I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> And like his company on Pride Month. Yes. <laughs> move, uh, I'm it's gay. Great. He says to Elon Musk, "Move, I'm gay." Hmm. Screw Tesla. I got gay month. My dad just got like an electric car. Ew. It's not from Tesla though. I know. That's what everybody in my family's been saying. Teslas are gross. Oh, the raper ghosts. Should I let it rape me just so you see what happens? No. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, I don't need to demonstrate how raping works to the audience. We can, uh... We can ask the audience for their input. Yeah, uh, put in the comments the question of the day. Um, how, how would you demonstrate raping? Demonstrate raping. <laughs> demonstrate, just demonstrate rape. I think that would definitely work. It's like that okay. scene in Family Guy where Peter grabs a Chinese guy out of nowhere, puts him on the desk, and says, Come on, do math. Instead, he just says, Come on, rape somebody. Rape. <laughs> oh, man, you pulled out a Family Guy reference. I always have to. Button. It's just like that one time where that one thing happened. Yes. That not what we expect would happen. Yeah. That's just Family Guy in a nutshell, honestly. That's why I don't like it anymore. I know. Like, the older shit I like. Oh, yeah. The new season of Family Guy is so unwatchable. No, it's because Seth MacFarlane stopped writing the show. I know. Seth just wanted that show to die a long time ago. Yes, he did. Like, I I just feel like he's just painfully going through with it because he makes a lot of money off of it. He started two shows after, like, season 10. Just so he could try and stop Family Guy from being a American Literally, Dad well, and the American Dad. Yeah, the Penguin Show flopped. Oh, that show flopped hard. There were only like three good episodes of that show. American Dad? No, uh, Cleveland Show. Cleveland Show, yeah. I heard that one flop real hard, but I liked American Dad. Oh, American Dad's American awesome. Dad. Yeah. Who might be possibly gay? <laughs> Good morning, USA. It's gonna be a wonderful day. I've only Sun seen t- three seasons Smile of American Dad. Face. Does the alien ever get laid? He gets laid all the time. Oh, he does? What the fuck are you talking about? He's a, he's like a degenerate. Oh. Like, he fucks everything. He fucks everything. That's the f- fuck. Gay men in a nutshell. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I can say it, I get a free pass, internet. If Josh said it, I probably would have shunned him out of society. Even though that's a kind of hip- hypocritical thing to do. Joe Biden in a nutshell. Joe Biden. Where's Joe Biden? <laughs> it's Bo Jiden. Bo Biden. Bo Biden. Viagra. Bo- yeah. Joe no, J- Joe Biden's the opposite of Viagra pill. If I took a Viagra pill, I would be fucking everything in sight. Joe... Oh, I mean... Joe Biden Benadryl. <laughs> yeah. No, Joe Biden just takes Zoloft, but he only takes it for the side effects. That's why his penis is broken. <laughs> oh my god, now that I say that out loud, I think I've heard that somewhere. It was like... It's like Zoloft, but just the side effects. I take it every day, but my penis is broken. <laughs> I don't know exactly where you don't know what Zoloft head. is. No. I'm not gonna say it out loud, but you can search it up if it's you like want. Like some, to. like a. It's like a pill. For your thing. Maybe. Uh, no, it's against your thing. It's against your thing? Why would someone take that? Uh, just look it up. Just look up the symptoms of Zoloft. I don't really want to. It's not that bad. It really isn't. 
It's like an over-the-counter medicine, I'm pretty sure. I'm That I could be wrong about, but I'm pretty sure you could just buy it at like a Walgreens or something. I don't know, anything that makes you kind of act like Joe Biden's, I wouldn't <laughs> think would be over-the-counter. Yeah, I go up to little girls that I've never met before and start like putting my face in their face. <laughs> I still can't believe how gorgeous this game looks for this time. Oh my god, Luigi, what are you to doing? Fair, I think there are better games that look a little bit better, but for its time and for what it's trying to offer, yeah. it doesn't look that bad. No. You know, they could have done worse. Yeah, definitely. They could have. Hmm. Okie dokie. I forgot what I'm doing now. Um, oh, I'm catching booze. Those white circle fears, fear things. I gotta catch them. Gotta catch them all! Oh, they shot a bomb remember, at me. Jesus. Do you remember that phase in elementary school where every single kid had fucking Pokemon cards? Uh, I don't know that, but I do know, um, they had, like, fidget spinners. And that was in middle school. Oh, I mean, for me, that was, elementary school. School. that was elementary school for me. Oh, yeah. uh, I saw I fidget spinners school. everywhere. Yeah, mine... That didn't catch on in my elementary school, that... It was mostly Pokemon cards, how many you could collect, and whoever had a phone could play Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, really. That's how you were known to be popular. Yeah, if you, if you showed up to school playing Minecraft on your phone, you're like, Who's that kid? I want to be his friend! Yeah, and you wanted to play on his phone. Yeah. I know this because I was the kid who had the phone Minecraft. <laughs> uh, I like how Luigi has four four thousand grand right now, just from sucking up 4, dead spirits, or four that's grand. That's gold. That's like gold coins. That's probably like what? Oh, each coin is a cent, and then then there's the ten dollar bills. Right? They're called gold dollar, like, gold coins, right? Yeah, but in this universe, that's, like, the currency for, like, a penny. Because there's actual, like, gold bars that I can collect that are worth, like, a hundred grand. They're worth a hundred thousand coins. That doesn't make any sense, because if everything was a gold coin, the price of a gold bar would be less. No, a coin in this universe is equivalent to one grand here. Mario. Hmm. Like, the coins God, Mario punches inflation. out of the bricks. Every time Mario Where punches a brick and gets get... a coin, that's one grand in our economy. Where the fuck are they getting so many coins? In gold? <laughs> From the bricks that Mario punches. <laughs> Mario is just this, like the entirety of the U.S. Stock Exchange. Mario runs the economy. Oh, that is creepy. I don't remember that shit. What the hell? That's honestly like a really, uh, really unsettling image. That's weird. Oh, wait, no, that's the butler. Never mind. I was actually creeped out for a second, but. <laughs> oh, where do I go? Oh, I need to find more booze. More boobs. I mean, booze. Booze. Every time I say booze, it sounds like I'm, like, saying booze, like, alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go catch some more booze, Luigi. I can't be sober all day. <laughs> you guys just, like, like clinically... I like Matt Pat goes, like, completely insane sometimes, like, with Mugman and Cuphead and Mugman. He just, like, says... Okay, guys, they're alcohol. They're uh, prohibition smugglers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ugh, prohibition smugglers. I'm Bamboo, if you please. Oh, yeah, each of these boos is a pun in their name. There's, like, the Game Boo Advance, the, the Boo Boy or something. I don't remember all of them. All I remember is Shamboo... And Boo Boy, I think's one. Game Boo Advance, Game Boo Color. 
Booyah. I remember when Ghostbusters 2016 was like being marketed and we saw like everything everywhere all at once. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god, I can't stop myself. Um, there was a poster and it said, quote, and I quote, Booyah, emphasis on the boo. <laughs> That sucks. <laughs> it was so bad. Like, it's like they wanted the movie to not be seen. I... Uh, it, it's so mind-boggling how that movie even got made. Oh, it's because of the director. The director had already come off of Bridesmaids, Tag, and, um... Uh, what was it? Uh, Spy with Melissa McCarthy. Both, like, having, like, above 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, the highest-rated comedies ever on Rotten Tomatoes came out. Oh, well, fortunately, this was the age of 2016. Yes. Age, some would say. But, like, Chris Hemsworth, he, the, the best Marvel movie in the world that had the Avengers in it came out that year, but guess what? He got Ghostbusters 2016. Oh, yeah, Chris Hemsworth was in that movie. Yeah, he was the, he was the receptionist. He was the villain. No, the villain was a curly-headed guy. He just got possessed by him for a little while. Honestly, a wasted position for Chris Hemsworth. Oh yeah, and like most of his scenes were like the funniest scenes out of that movie, like where he um he was like showing them the like because they asked him to make logos because he was like a expert in graphic design. He just shows a picture of a Seven Eleven logo, and then he like goes to a ghost with like massive tits. <laughs> yeah, and he's like. Oh, is it the boobs? I can I can make them bigger <laughs> if you want to. Chris knows how to. Act. Yes, he is. Okay. He's a funny guy. He's the one who probably carried that entire movie. Oh yeah, and Melissa McCarthy even said that in an interview. I think with Jimmy Kimmel, he, she just straight up said he's the best part of this movie. <laughs> Which I mean, Chris is probably the best part of every single movie he's ever in. There were a couple of scenes where I'm like, okay, they just wrote him too dumb. Like, there's one scene where yeah. she hits, or he hits a gong, and then he covers his eyes instead of his ears. That, that's that, too stupid. Yeah, that's too stupid. Um, and there was one... It should have been more, like, Thor stupid, where he's still, like, Yes, competent. like, he has he actual a brain. How things work. Yeah. But, I mean, how would you write that in a superhero movie? Yeah, or, not or not fucking... Love and Thunder Thor, but Ragnarok Thor. Yeah. No. Oh, man. I still... I, I hear Love and Thunder still very disappointing. It's disappointing. That's why I think people hate it so much. But it really has some cool ideas. It has some cool scenes. Yeah. It's just the only thing just, that sucks in it is the humor. Mario. The movie does yeah. not know when it needs to be funny and when it needs to be serious. And like, also, I hear that it should have focused more on Thor. No, that it had the perfect pacing. It had perfect, like, story. It was all there. It's just it did not know when it needed to be serious or funny. Because there's a scene where, like, a really emotional scene when Jane is having, like, a flashback to her mom... And then she, like, transitions back into her cancer phase and looks at herself in the mirror. And then gets Mjolnir, transforms back into it, and then just, like, destroys the bathroom. But then, two seconds after, they're doing a Mary J. Blige reference where she thinks that it's a hand grenade, but it's actually a portable speaker. And then they start dancing to Family Affair by Mary J. Blige. Huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> And then Dude. there's a scene where Thor actually sees Jane for the first time, like, after being, like, emotionally wrecked by her dumping in Avengers Endgame. No, oh, it yeah. just gets turned into, like, a rom-com between Stormbreaker and Mjolnir, and Stormbreaker's jealous because Thor's in love with Jane again. And, like, I mean, yeah, that stuff's funny, uh -huh. but, like, it doesn't yeah. feel but, right. Mean, <laughs> you, you need to address... Yes, you, yeah, you need to address that you're trying to like, do something serious here. He was so depressed because he lost his entire world. Yeah, literally, he, he lost his mom, his love. dad, and his girlfriend, and his hammer. He lost his brother. And his brother, too! Like, and his he, dignity. He was at his lowest point, and she comes back and has a chance of getting her again, and they don't address it. No. He just says, Jane, and then a building just collapses in the background. 
Like, I mean, if you wanted to do the comedy, you save that for a little bit later. Yeah. Like, I wish they did what he did with Loki in Avengers, like the first Avengers movie, because that's after he figure out he he's not dead, and then he, like... Yeah, yeah, that's... That's after, like, all the emotional, like, holy shit, yeah. my brother's still alive. Like, I mourned Ooh, you, I, love... I cried for you. Yeah, saying that we all did. I, I don't like how Odin's portrayed, though, in the... Ragnarok? N uh, no, in the next movie. Ragnarok, that was perfect. Odin wasn't in Love and Thunder. No, 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 I, I mean, like, the one after Avengers. Oh, the Dark World? After Avengers. Yeah, Dark World. <laughs> He was a little bit too, um, unfeeling of a Like, father. he didn't really have emotion in his voice. Mario. No, he was more cruel. Yeah, which you could argue that that's the entirety of the movie, is just dull and emotionless, apart from Loki, yeah. but... Even Loki got turned into a meme, because that's when the yeah! that like that scream sound effect came from that movie. Where Loki like just like breaks down and just starts yelling after he realizes he just killed his mother. Yeah. But like it's like why couldn't the entire movie be like that? Like, I mean, if they wanted to make a dark movie, you make it a dark movie. Yeah, literally, dark is in the name, and it's the one of the most laughably boring movies in the entire you, MCU. Yeah, like, they could have made it into, like, a Shakespearean... Yeah, like what they did with the drama. first movie. But, yeah, like, like, take all of the fish out of water shit. being broken apart, you know, have the son confront that he killed his beloved mother. Yes. Which we finally Instead got that, that in Loki. I'm so happy that we got yeah, that. Yeah, we finally did get that. But they sh they wasted an opportunity. Yeah, it was definitely a wasted uh, opportunity. They didn't show enough of Odin mourning his wife. No, it just showed him, and, like, like lighting how it her on really fire. Fucked him up. And Ragnarok actually touched into some of that. Like, he actually mentions that, oh, I'm about to see your mother. Yeah, Ragnarok brought it back a little. It, it definitely brought it back a lot. Yeah. Just... Yeah. Ragnarok did everything I wanted in a Thor movie. It turned Dark World... It, like, did the same thing Dark yeah. World should have done, but also make it a lot more enjoyable. It, like, it if Dark World did what it wish. needed to do, it probably still would have been boring, but... Yeah, but it would have been a little bit better. Yeah. Like, I mean, it had a very cool fucking premise, too. Exactly, yes. Like, an ancient army wants revenge for Odin wiping out his civilization. And also exactly. also sets up how much of a conqueror Odin was. Yeah. It really set up what like, we would end up getting in Ragnarok with his backstory. Yeah. No, no, wait, no, it was Odin's grandfather or father. Yeah, it was his father. Yeah, but still, it sets up, like, the Asgardian. Yeah, like, like they really aren't who they say they, they are. Seem. Yeah. And Korg, I'm pretty sure, was in Dark World. Like, at least, like, one of his people. But yeah. he doesn't have any lines. <laughs> I oh. think would have been, what would have been better is instead of having them wipe out the civilization, they cripple them. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then they have this burn. This entire civilization of elves have this burning hatred for the Asgardians who want revenge. Yeah, we didn't see enough of the Dark Elves, like, need to want to yeah. lay rate to Asgard. We just think, oh, Malekith, he wants bad Infinity Stone. No, let him get that. Which, I mean, you, they could have made him, like, a very, you know... Yeah, if I was in this position, I'd probably want the same thing. He could have easily been a Thanos kind of a villain. Yeah. Where you understand where he's coming from, but you still know in your mind, no, that's not he's, the way you his go. His decision-making is flawed. Yes. Like, yeah, you understand where Thanos, Thanos is, is coming from, ass. but still, the decision-making yeah. is a little eh, iffy. But, like, even when he got it's the enough. Aether, or the Reality yeah. Stone, whatever you want to call it, I'm like, oh shit, he actually got it? But then he starts using it, and I'm like, he want, that's what ultimate power looks like? Excuse me? He has the reality stone, and he's using it to make spikes. 
Yeah. He could he alter reality could've... at will. They could have done that better. Yes, they could have. Oh my god. We just went on a rant about Thor the Dark World for no reason. We're playing Luigi's Mansion. Jesus. Oh my god. I mean, that's what commentary is. We just go on random shit with gameplay in the background. Yeah, that's just the game grumps in general. Oh, man.